welcome to another episode of the Hard Target Range. This week we're going to be looking at the Ruger 1022 in stainless steel. Let's go shooting. Here we are down the Hard Target Range today, guys. A beautiful sunny day, but it's really cold at, at 26 degrees. But let's get shooting this nice Ruger all weather 1022. Well, here we are back in the shop, and I'd like to say where it's warm and toasty, but it's really kind of cold and damp in here today. I don't think the heat's kicked on at all today. Well, as long as we're here, I guess I thought we were done with the cocoa, but Jack made me another batch. And awful nice of him, because, yeah, I'm just a bear if I don't have my cocoa sometime during the day. To the sunny slopes of long ago. Ah, that doesn't heat you up, cool you down all the same time. So here we are back in the shop with the Ruger 1022. This one, of course, is a stainless steel model, 18 and a half inch barrel. Not much to talk about. It's a conventional 1022, so I'm sure you're all familiar with the 1022. It does have this nice Hogue rubber overmolded grip, which it's kind of sticky and things do kind of tend to stick to it lint and such so if you're you know a fanatic on what it looks like it may not be for you but it's a good all-weather stock that even in the coldest of temperatures you can get a grip on because it's it's rubber and it's got this pimple surface on it and that's why I picked it out along with the stainless steel is I wanted one I could use in the wintertime all-weather and not have to worry about it Along with that, I decided, you know, I really am not a fan of these these sights on the 1022s here, the conventional 1022 sight, and wanted to upgrade it. So what I did is I went to the Tech Sights, which has this nice kind of a military-style rear ghost ring sight that's adjustable for both windage and height. You can adjust the windage right here by turning this dial and the height you can see the white spots on the clicks where you can adjust that ghost ring up and down the front side of course is also adjustable for height but really not for windage although that isn't entirely true because yeah you could you could maybe adjust it a little bit there one way or the other without making it too odd looking because it is in a, in a dovetail and you've got a set screw on this side to tighten it into place. So you could float it if you want it to, but it really isn't necessary with the rear sight that it has. And I, have <laughs> I haven't even played with the sights, haven't adjusted them one bit. They're just, yeah, they're, they're right where I would put them. So I didn't play with them at all and they work just great. So there you have that. Really is you can't beat if you just want to do some 22 planking or even some serious uh, precision shooting with a 22. You can't beat a 1022 from Ruger. They're just a fantastic gun, and I thought I'd share that with you today. The Ruger 1022. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I hope I'll be able to have enough time to get a, a hard target range show out next week. If I can, I hope you'll understand because I got something very important to do this week. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, I'll be out there and doing it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, really hopefully I'll be out there and doing it. I'll leave you a little more footage of me shooting this nice little 1022 by Ruger. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.
Wow, what a nice gun. and what a gorgeous day a little cold but oh it is bright and sunny a great day to be alive thanks for tuning in till next time from mr holster and jack go out and stay safe